What's the deal, YouTube? This is your boy, Game 27 I'm back again with a brand new video. And today, I want to talk about the PlayStation 4. Um, I guess past couple of days, there's been news that Sony is considering releasing a high-performance PlayStation 4. It's going to improve on the memory, GPU, CPU, and Ultra HD Blu-ray support. And I guess by me saying Ultra HD Blu-ray, you know, I guess in other words, 4K. Uh, so that, that sounds really good and everything and, and you know, it's just one problem I had with that If Sony will actually do something like that that they going to divide their consumers and the 24 25 million Consumers that are uh, purchased a ps4 right now will feel cheated and they will they be feeling like like uh, Sony should have released the upgraded ps4 first and You don't you don't want to do that because uh, you know shit like this you know, having basically two different consoles, you know, in one generation, it's not going to work. For instance, look at Sega. The Sega Genesis was, was a success, and Sega, you know, pulled some stupid ass shit and and um, you know, release a 32x console. Well, technically, it's not a it's not a 32x console. It's still part of the Sega Genesis. It was just an attachment in which it alienated their fan base, in which it pissed them off because they thought the 32x was the next generation console. In which it was not. So basically, if if the P, uh, if Sony will actually release this high performance PlayStation 4, then technically it's going to be a PlayStation uh, 4.5, in which, like I said, it's going to divide their consumers. And with with let's go back to the 32X. You know, the 32X was a commercial failure, and that right there was the beginning of the end of Sega because of all the wrong decisions that they did with their consoles. Um, I guess with Sony, they just need to just ride this out with the PlayStation 4 until the PS5 comes out. And because honestly, I thought this current generation that we are in right now, I felt that it was rushed. It was it was rushed and it was not ready. Honestly, these consoles should have came out. These consoles should have came out at least a year, um, a year later. And that's why you know we have a lot of these problems and everything. The first year with these consoles, you know, these develop these developers, you know, just cannot get these games. Um, Get these games, you know, uh, polished on time, you know, for them to make the release date. That's why we got all these damn broken games because everybody was still stuck on last generation. You know, that's what happened. And honestly, by uh, someone considering uh, releasing this this more powerful um, PS4, honestly, this probably was supposed to be this generation. But honestly, they just need to just hold that back and wait, you know, a few more years until the five, six year life cycle. Uh, the PS4 is over, then released the high performance PS4 or 5, whatever you want to call it. But honestly, Sony is not in a good position to make a bad business move like that because we already know the financial situation that Sony is in. Honestly, Microsoft, they could pull something like that. They can, but it, it, like I say, it's just not smart because the only the only uh, uh, div uh, Sony division that's doing well is the PlayStation brand. Everything else in the Sony division is not. So, you, like I said, you don't want to alienate your fan base because, like I said, with Sega a while ago, uh, Sega, like, uh, about 20-something years ago, you know, they was doing really good. Compete with the SNES, you know, doing really well. Sonic the Hedgehog was the shit and everything. And and Sega let that get to, the, get to their heads. And right now, uh, the PS4 is getting to Sony's heads. And what she well, what she'd have said last year, he don't know why the PS4 is selling so well. So just let it keep selling and don't do nothing stupid to jeopardize your fan base. That's all I gotta say about that. But anyway, guys, y'all just let me know how I feel about this situation. Do y'all feel that Sony need to hold this off and save this for the PS5, or just go ahead and uh, release this, and you know you can go ahead and buy this? I, I I don't know. You know, like I said a while ago, it's. I feel that they are not in no good position to do this. You know, this it's a bad business move, but if you want a high performance PS4, I know a lot of y'all are graphics wars out there, but on the business side, do y'all think this is a smart move for Sony to do, knowing that they are in a bad financial situation? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. And once again, this is your boy Regan27, and y'all have a good day.